Hi friends, if you are using a new SMTP server, you might be noticing that your emails are going into spam. So if even if you are having a sending score of 10 on 10, you have uh, your SPF record, you have a DKIM record, you have a DMARC record, still your emails are going into spam and your delivery rate is very low. We will talk about how to warm up your SMTP step by step and I will give you important tips. So get your pen and paper ready because this training will be interesting. So stay tuned. Hi friends, this is Viplob here from Brighter Genie. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. It really helps the algorithm. I post videos almost, at least I try to post videos almost every day. Now, uh, moving on, what is warming up? Uh, if you have built a uh, new server, new SMTP server, or you have a new IP uh, associated with an old SMTP server, you have to let the world know that you exist. You have to let the search engines know. You have to let the other email marketing companies know that you exist. That So you have to build an online reputation here uh, to uh, proceed or else there will be spammers who will be sending out spam emails every day. Make up 10 to 12 servers and sending out spam bulk emails to everyone out there. The next question that pops up is why warm up? Uh, the spam industry, the spam filter industry to be precise is very strict nowadays because Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail have stringent spam filters to filter out any spammers and it should be done because or else spammers will uh, destroy the email marketing industry right now. We have to warm up to pass these spam filters and to build up a good history. It about takes uh, two weeks to two months to build a good reputation in the online field. We have learned the what and why of warming up. Now, how to warm up? The most and the vital point here is schedule your warm up process. Uh, the scheduling of, or, of your warm up process is to increase the quantity step by step, generally moving as the days go. Uh, now, uh, in the first day, very first day, if you send about 10 emails, the second day you must double it up to 20. The third day, double it up 40. The fourth day, Double it up 80, 160, 320, 640. Go on till your aim is achieved. You may be send your target may be about 1000 emails, your target may be about 10,000 emails, whatever may be your target. You just double it up and slow after a period of 15 days. Um, slow it, uh, say after every 15 days, you have reached about, you are sending 10,000 emails per day. So maintain 10,000 emails per day for another 5 to 7 days and again slowly if you have more email subscriber increase it. So after a period of 10 to 15 days you must um, just maintain the constant figure and uh, for 5 to 7 days and again increase it after some time. There are three critical factors that you must evaluate after you send out the campaign during the warm up process. Uh, the first is the bounce rate, the second is the receptance action. The third is the spammy keywords or phrases. Uh, bounce rate, you must always strive to keep the bounce rate at 0%. Uh, it may not be possible, but you must always try. Uh, you can keep check of your uh, bounces at your Amazon SCS dashboard or your uh, mailing application dashboard. There are two types of bounces, the hard, hard bounces and the soft bounces. Um, I will talk about all those things in a later video, uh, how to avoid bounces, uh, what are the factors affecting bounces. So the next point is the recipient's action. Uh, make sure that during the warm up process you are providing value to your customers. You are not sending promotional emails or affiliate links or um, links to you promote your products. You just have to provide value to your customer or transactional emails that customer opens. Uh, the third point uh, is uh, spammy keywords. Uh, you, I have in my previous video, I have given a list of spammy keywords or phrases that you must avoid. Uh, I will uh, try to provide it through my contact number. Uh, if you want it, please uh, um, contact me in the Instagram, DM me, direct message me in Instagram. I am most active there and, or else you can mail me uh, hello at the red brighter uh, It's in the link down below and I will provide you the full list down there. So try to avoid those because spam filters directly catches and put your mail in the spam. 
so it will be of no use if you use any of the spammy keywords or uh, if you are not providing any value or if you are um, receiving too much bounces bounce up to 15 percent is well and good but above that uh, it's not tolerable and your reputation online which i've talked about previously will be completely shattered and it will deep and your um, messages or emails will be completely going into spam different business have different requirements different business have different email subscriber list so your business warming up schedule should be according to your list some may have a list of about 1000 some may have a list of about 10000 or someone wants to send about 1 million emails daily to their subscribers so your warm up scheduling process should uh, should be set according to your business schedule uh, let's say uh, if you have a uh, list of about 10000 um, you should send about 50 emails on the first day the second day it should be double to 100 the third um, 100 200 then 400 then 800 so it must go on till you reaches 10,000 if you are a big marketing industry and uh, you want to start a campaign you want to warm up your SMTP you must always split your campaigns into two or three segments uh, like uh, you are warming up a list of about 30,000 simultaneously war warming up another list of about 20,000 so 30,000 finishes a little later than 20,000 and another about 50,000 which finishes a little later about uh, 30,000 so after two to three weeks all will be uh, warmed up and you can send the campaign marketing or promotional campaign to those uh, email subscribers so you should always split if you want to start a big campaign and you want to warm up your SMTP server I will be discussing 10 important points to directly land in the inbox and warm up your list uh, I call it the 10 P to warm up and land in inbox so num number one point is uh, if you can please write it down or uh, take the screenshots uh, when I will be discussing the points I will um, write it down here uh, so number one point is uh, the technical part the technical part that is the SPF record should be there the DKIM record should be there the DMARC record should be there there should be no compromise in this three because it is one of the most important I cannot stress here more the most and the most important uh, to warm up your list and to maintain a 10 on 10 sending score and to directly lending in inbox which will affect your um, transaction rate which will affect your click through rate which will affect your bouncing rate everything depends upon your uh, establishing a ground level the base in construction is your technical part point number two send to your top active users if you have a list please send it to your top active users who interact with your email who give reply back to your email or who click on the links you provide there please send it to your top active users uh, now moving on point number three uh, there should be no promotions at all during the warm-up process you must always send transactional emails like uh, confirming your email address or something like that or you must send uh, uh, emails that contain value you must uh, send an email that provides a link to a ebook or something that uh, provides value to your client that provides value to your list please don't send any type of promotional affiliate offers or any type of product offers nothing you should be clean during the warm-up process point number four uh, you should provide a unsubscribe link at the bottom of the email apart from that you should also provide your address um, at the bottom of the email or anywhere you like you should provide the email signature uh, along with your social links to build trust within your audience uh, that is uh, one of the most important and uh, in any email subscriber email marketing automation system or any type of email uh, uh, marketing sending application like mailwiz uh, will not uh, you will not be able to send any email without adding unsubscribe or um, without adding your company full address so it is mandatory and please don't try to avoid or skip it point number five is uh, do not switch ip addresses during the warm-up process because if you switch ip addresses during the warm-up process it affects the uh, quality of the new ip address along with the uh, ip address reputation of the old I, uh, old so never uh, switch back ip addresses during this warm-up process uh, the sixth point uh, which i would like to stress is if you are using your own server like power mta try to uh, use another premium server like uh, amazon ses or sendgrid or mailgun um, so that the reputation of your domain 
increases because they have higher chances of landing it into the inbox. Join 15 to 20 newsletters in your niche so that you receive daily emails from them. Uh, it will help to uh, increase your domain reputation much faster. Message to about 15 to 20 of your friends and ask them to reply back to your mail and if it is it has gone to spam ask them to mark it not as spam uh, there are also some premium services who does the same for you they charge about 30 to 50 bucks but if you are starting out i don't think that it is necessary point number nine if you can warm up with your audience or warm up with your followers because they have higher chances of responding or interacting to your um, emails rather than some random uh, emails or cold emails that you might be sending this is the process that i follow personally to warm up my servers um, i always try to send uh, um, whether it be transactional or value based emails with a new server to my subscriber list that are eager to receive my emails point number 10 tracking your campaign tracking your warm up campaign or warm up schedule is very important because um, uh, the three metrics that according to me you must uh, keep track of are uh, the bounce rate keeping track of your hard bounces and also your soft bounces uh, the click rate and the unsubscribe rate and the fourth or the which i saved it for the last the spam rate uh, you must always you can always see these four metrics uh, in your Amazon SES dashboard or your uh, mail sending application like Mailstar or MailWiz dashboard. Uh, if you see any changes uh, that is occurring that is uh, showing a logarithmic curve, uh, you must always change your strategy. There is a point that I just remember. Uh, if you don't have a website, please I request you build it, collect emails genuinely because warming up with your own followers in your with your own audience is very easy and i have been doing it and please start it and if you want any training free courses i have started the free courses and i have already uploaded two videos you can just check it out and um, there is a free giveaway that i will be giving a free ebook uh, check in the link in the description down below uh, it is internet marketer startup toolkit it is very beneficial i have read it uh, please uh, take it it is a free giveaway and uh, if you want to take your own warming up schedule according to your business kindly connect with me on instagram uh, the link is in the description dm me there direct message me and i will be very happy to uh, give you a schedule according to your requirement and thanking you uh, so that's all i guess bye bye take care